Hello and welcome to English Center. Happy to see you all of your smiling faces once again. This is mine to be. Once again, I'm taking another word and I will try to show you this word in different sentences as different parts of speech. Let's see. In this video, I'm going to talk about this very word, but. And this word can be used as adverb, preposition, conjunction, and relative pronoun. Look at the first example. It is but right to admit our faults. So in this example, but means only actually. It is only right. This is the only way to admit our faults. So in this example, but is adverb. Why? Because it indicates only. Okay. So what about other words? Eat here pronoun is verb, but actually adverb, then right here adjective. So it is right, it is wrong. So it is good, it is bad. So it will be adjective because after auxiliary verb, most of the time, what we have that is actually adjective. Then to admit this is actually verb, then our false here, fault noun and our, this is actually determiner. Next example, none but the brave deserves the fear so none but means none except the brave so the brave here noun and before the noun what we have that is actually preposition so but here preposition so none but so but means except means preposition what about other words none this one is the pronoun then but preposition the brave the determiner then brave this is actually now the brave together actually the brave brave together because we know brave is adjective and adjective cannot be noun if we add to if we add the before adjective then it becomes a noun so the brave together noun then the jobs the jobs this one is the verb you may you may think that why this is the plural form the brave why i'm using here s actually here the subject is none not the brave because this is preposition and after the preposition we do not have the head word so this way none this is the subject and this way none none means no one no one okay so here it will be the jobs this is verb then da the fair da da this is the determiner and fair this is the noun next example we tried hard but did not succeed this one is a little bit easy one this is actually conjunction why conjunction because here we have two clauses here we tried hard one clause but did not succeed here another clause they we actually we because here we have the subject we and definitely here it will be we so we did not succeed same one clause another clause two clause has been connected by this very word but so this is actually conjunction what about other word we pronoun tried verb hard this is actually adverb then but this is actually conjunction then did verb means auxiliary verb not adverb succeed this one is the verb next example there is no one but likes him so here this one is the relative pronoun because uh, instead of this one, we can say this way, there is no one who does not like him. This way also we can write. So, but here indicates or but here, but likes him. Up to this actually, explain the word one. Okay, there is no one, no one who, no, one means who, one that it, it describes the later thing actually. Okay, so who? So, but means here, but means who does not like him. So, this is actually relative pronoun because relative pronoun means it describes noun, okay, gives extra information about the noun, okay, then what about other words? There, here, pronoun, then is, is the verb here, then no, this one is the determiner, one, this is pronoun because not fixed anyone, okay, not, we have the name, so one means anybody can be so this is actually pronoun then but this is relative pronoun and then likes this one is the verb and him this is also pronoun next one she is 83 but 
she still goes swimming every day. This one is a little bit eg one. This is conjunction y. She is 83. Here we have a clause and she still goes swimming every day. This is here also we have another clause. So two clauses have been connected by this very word but. So this is actually conjunction. So she is 83 here. She pronoun then is verb then 83. This is actually noun number actually is. Okay, then but this is actually conjunction then she this is actually pronoun then still this is actually adverb then goes this is verb then swimming this is noun everyday adverb everyday adverb so we can consider this way that day is the noun and every is like a determiner uh, but uh, better to say that adverb like she goes when every day so better to say th this is actually adverb and this word actually 83 it can be also also determiner okay but in this sentence here we have the noun okay she is 83 means 83 years old okay so this one next one uh, there's been nothing but trouble since he came okay so in this example trouble this is actually noun uh, and this is actually a uh, preposition means except nothing except trouble uh, when 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 he came then trouble started so here but but means here uh, but preposition what about other word there pronoun then is auxiliary verb then been also uh, verb here this is main verb been here uh, there's means here there has been okay not there is been there has been then nothing here pronoun then but conjunction then trouble oh, sorry this one is the preposition and trouble noun then since here conjunction because after that we have a clause he came so he here the pronoun and then came this is verb last example we can but hope that things will improve in this example but is the adverb why adverb because we can say we can only hope so we have we can hope we can hope so we can say so here we have verb we can hope and but is modifying this verb so it is adverb i hope you understood still if you have any question please let me know in the comment below and also you can appreciate the video if you like it and you can share it with your friends in social medias and last but not the least love your country and do something for the humanity one thing if you didn't subscribe to my channel please subscribe it now bye bye